Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh. Lucy, are you okay? What brings you to the hospital today? Is Dr. Smith in? Um, no, I'm sorry, Lucy. He's not. What's going on? Oh, my stomach just really hurts. Oh my gosh, Lucy. Well, we better get you admitted right away. Oh, when will the doctor be back? We can talk about that in the exam room. Come on, right this way. Okay. Ugh, I just really don't feel good, Nurse Becky. It's okay, just come right in here and lay down. Ugh. I think there might be something wrong with my baby. Oh my gosh, I forgot. You're pregnant, Lucy. Ugh. The doctor's on vacation this weekend has left all the patients in my hands. There's so many patients. I forgot you were pregnant. It's okay, Nurse Becky, but I think maybe the doctor needs to come. I can't, I can't get him off vacation. He said only emergencies. My stomach really hurts. It's an emergency. Okay, well, let's take an ultrasound, okay? Come with me. Okay. Ugh. I can barely walk. It's gonna be okay, Lucy. Go right into the machine. I hope my baby's okay. I'm so worried about my baby. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I just know your baby's gonna be okay, Lucy. Um, wow. Uh, that doesn't sound like a wow. That's good. What are you? What are you looking at, Nurse Becky? Oh my gosh! I can't believe we missed this before. Okay, I need you to get on the stretcher right away. What? Why? What's going on with my baby? That's just the thing. There's not... There's not a baby. What? What do you mean? I'm gonna have my baby! What happened to it? No, you're going to have babies. Wait, what? What did you just say? Babies. Uh, we missed the other one before, but it's definitely twins. Your ultrasound shows it clear as day. Twins? No, I didn't prepare for twins. I only have one crib. I only have one package of diapers. I only have one high chair. I don't I don't have everything for twins. Lucy, I need you to calm down, please. It's not good for your babies to be this crazy. <sighs> Sorry, Nurse Becky. I I just I can't even believe it. I'm gonna be a mom of twins? I need to sit down. No, Lucy, you need to lay down. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Oh. oh my gosh, I think I have another patient coming in. Just hang tight, Lucy. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, my ankle hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. What happened? I was trying to climb a tree and I fell out of it. Oh my goodness, that sounds terrible. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get an x-ray and... Oh, my stomach. Oh. Nurse Becky, I need you right away. Ah, uh, hold on a minute, Daisy. I have to go check on the patient next door. But what about my ankle? Oh, my stomach. It hurts so bad. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a, a shot to relieve some of your pain, okay? I think it's just because you're going to have twins and there's not a lot of room in your stomach for both of them. This should help them to calm down and stop kicking you in the stomach. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe I'm having twins. Okay. Oh, ow, oh, that shot hurt. It's okay, everything's fine. Ouch, my ankle's killing me. Help me, Nurse Becky. I'll be right back. Hang tight. My stomach hurts. It hurts so bad. <laughs> okay, Um, I'm just going to take you down for an x-ray right now. Come on, let's go. Wait, wait, why does your stomach hurt? Because I didn't have any lunch and I'm starving. 
Okay, well, we'll get you a snack from the snack machine on the way to the x-ray room. And we're really worried about your ankle, not your tummy. Well, my tummy needs food. I don't like being in here. It's creepy. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's just going to take a minute, and you'll be right back out. Oh, Nurse Becky, come quick. Um, okay, Daisy, I have to leave you here for just a moment. What? No, we don't want to sit in the x-ray machine. Nurse, Nurse Becky. What took you so long? Oh, oh my goodness. Are, are you okay, Lucy? No, my stomach feels so weird. Okay, I think we're going to need to do another ultrasound. Another one? Oh. It's going to be okay, Lucy. Just stay calm. Hey, can I get out of this x-ray machine sometime? I'm still needing that snack. My stomach hurts. Um, hang tight for just one second. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Oh, help, nurse, please. My stomach, it hurts so bad. Oh, uh, somebody. Wait, uh, how did you get here? I walked in here and nobody was at the counter, so I came back in here. I have a stomach ache. She probably just needs a snack, too. No, I already ate snacks. I know my stomach hurts so bad. Help! Okay, um, just hang tight for one second. I'll be right back. I have to take this girl to her room. What? This is horrible service. I'm giving this hospital one star. Come back here, nurse. Come back. Okay, okay. Uh, you're going to be a little bit of a trouble patient, I can tell already. All right, what seems to be the problem? My stomach it hurts right here. So bad. Ugh. Okay, well, let me just feel your stomach a little bit and see if there's any bumps in there. Bumps? What do you think? I swallowed an alien? Um, no, I hope not. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm, okay. Uh huh. Well, we might need to get an x ray. Oh my gosh, my ankle hurts so bad. Nurse Becky, I need some medicine. Hang tight for one second. I'll be right back. Okay, Daisy, it looks like on your x-ray it's just a sprain and not a break. That means you don't require surgery, but I'm going to give you something for the pain. No, I don't want anything. Oh, Daisy, don't be afraid. It's only going to take a moment. Oh, boy, I don't like this one bit. OMG, the babies are coming. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, I'll be right back. Fine, whatever. It's not like anyone cares about me anyway. Hi, um, Dr. Smith, I can't handle this anymore. If you don't come back from vacation, I quit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nurse Becky, slow down. You know this is the one vacation I get a year. I'm relaxing at the beach. Oh, it's so nice. You need to get back here right now. Lucy's having babies. Wait, what? Babies? No, she's only having one. And she's not due for another month. Correction. She's having her babies now. And there's two. I took an ultrasound. Plus, I have a girl in here with a stomach ache and a girl in here with a sprained ankle. And I need help. Okay, I'll be right there, Nurse Becky. You can count on me. Oh, my babies. Are they going to be okay? Don't worry, the doctor's on his way. I call them from vacation. Oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> I was just drinking a coffee to stay awake. <laughs> I stayed up all night on the beach. Well, I've stayed up all night crazy because, because. Try not to talk, Lucy. It's time to deliver these twins. Twins? Oh! Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. What's going on next door? Everybody's yelling over there. I can't even get any sleep. I caramba. Congratulations, Lucy. You've had a boy and a girl. Oh my gosh, Lucy, they're adorable. Oh, they're so sweet. Hi, little girl. I'm your mommy. And I'm also your mommy, little boy. Well, what are you going to name them? I don't know. I... I only thought it was having the little girl. I wasn't expecting a little boy, too. Well, I'm glad I could be off of my vacation to deliver these adorable twins. Now I'm going back to the beach. Not so fast, doctor. There's a lot more patients waiting for you. Uh, okay, what seems to be the problem here? Well, the nurse told me that I have a sprained ankle. From the look of your x-rays... The uh, ankle is only mildly sprained. Why are you here? Uh, b 
because I sprained my ankle. You'll be fine. Walk it off. Really? I'm going back to the beach. Not so fast. You still have another patient. Doctor! Where's the doctor? My stomach hurts so bad. Oh, my. What seems to be the problem? Are you seriously drinking coffee right now? That's so unprofessional. Sorry, I was on vacation. <sighs> my only vacation of the entire year. I don't care. I don't feel good. My stomach hurts. Oh, yep. I've seen this a million times before. Be prepared. Prepared for what? Hiya! <laughs> ah, you jumped on my stomach and I farted! Wait a minute. I feel all better. Yup, it was just a case of really bad gas. Ew, stinks in here like rotten broccoli. That's because I had broccoli salad. <laughs> okay, you're released. Going back to the beach! Bye, doctor! Ah, this is the life. Nurse Becky, wh what are you doing on my vacation? I figured, Dr. Smith, if you could have a vacation, so couldn't I. But, but who's watching the hospital? You know, I don't really know. Wake up, it's time for school. Huh, no, no, I can't go to school. No, 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 school. Uh, Molly, come on. You didn't hear your alarm go off? Wake up, it's time for school. I can't go. I'm too sick. Too sick. Uh, Molly, you're making that up. I don't believe you. You're just trying to get, skip school today. No, Mom, seriously. I'm not trying to skip school. I'm, I'm just really, uh, I'm really tired. And I really don't feel good. Molly, get out of bed this instant. I'm not going to tell you again. I'll have breakfast ready in the kitchen. Ugh. Ugh. I really don't feel good. Ugh, my stomach hurts. Ah, 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 you! <sighs> Molly, I hear you snoring. Get out of bed. Ugh. Mom, I really, I really can't go to school today. Molly, come out and have your breakfast, please. Okay, fine. Ugh, that looks so gross. What? You love bacon and eggs and orange juice. I don't want to eat anything. My stomach is so upset right now. Seriously, Molly? Here, let me feel your forehead. Oh, wow, you do feel like you have a fever. You weren't lying, were you? No, Mom, I really... Achoo! Don't feel good. Okay, Molly. Well, go lay back down, okay? Okay, Mom. Do I have to go to school today? No, Molly. You don't have to go to school. Okay. Ugh. Poor thing. Here you go. Here's some orange juice when you want to drink it, Molly. That'll make you feel a lot better. Thanks, Mom. I can't believe you slept through your alarm. It's time to wake up for school. Aren't you excited? You get to have science class today, your favorite. I don't want to go, Mom. Nope, nope, nope. What? Daisy, you love school. I don't, but... Achoo! I'm not feeling very well. Oh, no. Don't tell me you and Molly caught this. No, Molly's probably faking it, but I'm really sick. No, your sister's not faking it. She has a fever. Oh, no. Well, I... Ah, 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 poo! Oh, Daisy, do you want some orange juice? Yes, please. Oh, my head really hurts. Oh. Here you go, Daisy. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Mom. You get lots of rest now, and I'll come check on you in a little bit. Okay, Bob. Oh, baby Kira, you're already awake and you look like you're in a good mood. Thank goodness you're my one kid that isn't sick. 
А я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я я why don't you get back in your crib and try to rest? Sick. That's right, baby Kira. All right, I'm going to get you some orange juice. Stay there. That's right, orange juice. Here you go, sweetie. Now you get some rest. I can't believe all of my kids are sick today. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Piggy, you're not going to get me. <laughs> I'm too quick for you. Uh, 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 achoo! Molly, what are you doing? I'm playing some Piggy right now. Molly, you're sick. You should be in bed resting. But it's so boring, Mom. Do I have to? Yes, Molly. No video games if you're home from school. But it's not my fault. I'm z z z sick. Achoo! Molly, back in bed, please. Okay, fine. Oh, man. Being sick is so boring. Glug, 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 glug. Mm, that was pretty good orange juice. All right, Molly, back into bed. You'll never get better if you're playing piggy video games all day. Yeah, uh, I guess you're right, Mom. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Achoo! Good thing you're just a stuffed animal unicorn or you'd catch my cold. <laughs> but you're just a stuffed unicorn. You're not the real thing. Molly, what are you doing out of bed? I'm playing with my brightly colored unicorn. She was getting lonely. Molly, you could take your brightly colored unicorn in bed with you and snuggle, but you're not allowed to play right now. I told you, you need to be in bed resting. But it's so boring! Do I have to stay in bed, Mom? Well, how about this? You could go out on the couch and watch a movie, but you have to stay on the couch, couch and rest. Really? I could watch a movie? Anything I want? Sure, Molly. I'll bring you some more orange juice, okay? Thanks, Mom! Uh, 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 achoo! My mom says I can watch some TV because I'm just getting, like, really bored right now. Ugh, cooking, no! Yeah, brilliantly colored unicorn. <coughs> uh. Uh, 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 Hi, Bali. I'm not feeling so good. Me either. You got me sick. What? No, I didn't. You got me sick. No, you got me sick. No, you got me sick. I don't want to watch this movie. I'd rather watch the cooking channel. Too bad. I was here first. Uh, are you girls gonna argue all day? I think I might need a vacation. <laughs> yeah, right. You're a mom. You never get a vacation. Mom, I want some orange juice, too. I already thought of that. That orange juice was delicious. I know, right? Uh, my body is, like, hurting, and I feel cold, and I have a headache. Achoo! Baby, Kira, make sure you cover your nose when you sneeze. Yeah, well, it's not like we all don't all have it. I know, Marley, but still, ew, gross. I told you I Baby Gary, you're so cute. Okay, sit on this couch over here and just relax, okay? Okay, good girl. I know mom's gonna be like, oh my god, all my kids are sick. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, all of my kids are sick. <sighs> Achoo! Mom, did you just sneeze? Um, no, I'm fine. No, Mom, you definitely just sneezed. Yeah, I heard it too. No, 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 I'm fine. Uh, uh, achoo! Oh, no, Mom, you caught it too. Oh, no, I do sort of have a headache. All right, Mom, let me see if you have a fever. Oh, my gosh, Mom, you're burning up. Here, you better get on the couch next to baby Kira. I'll get you some orange juice. Molly, you're still sick. Actually, I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, no. Mom definitely has a fever. Aw, oh, poor mom. She caught it. She caught whatever we had. It's really sad. Okay, I'm going to take this orange juice to my mom. 
Oh, I don't feel so good. Ha, 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 chew! Here, Mom, drink this. You'll feel so much better. Well, Marley, it looks like we're going to be home from school all day. Yeah, it looks like Mom's going to be home from work, too. She doesn't look so good. Ha, 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 chew! I can't believe I caught what you girls have. I did your job, birthday. I did your job, birthday, Papa. Ha! Baby Kira thinks that's kind of funny. Baby Kira. <laughs> Girls, it's time to get up. Come on, you're going to be late for school. No, no, I'm not going to school today. Tell him, tell him I, I quit. Molly, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Come on, Daisy, you're usually out of bed. No, not today. She doesn't want to get up today. No, I'm not getting up ever again. I'm so tired. Oh, is it summer yet? What's wrong with you girls? You've been this way all week. Come on, get out of bed. No, can't, can't. Oh, okay, fine. I'm going to go get your mom, and she'll probably have a bucket of water, and she'll dump it right on your head. <laughs> Good one, Dad. Good one. Daisy, I dare you not to move. I dare you not to move. Dare accepted. <laughs> Girls, time to wake up. Time to wake up. Come on, chop, chop, out of bed. Mom, I'm so tired. So many months of school. Yeah, Mom. Is it summer yet? No, girls. You still have another month or so of school before summer vacation. Now get out of bed, please. Nope. Can't do it. Oh, my gosh. Here I come with a bucket of water. I don't care. I'll just have a water bed. <laughs> really? Ugh. You girls are so frustrating. They won't get out of bed for me either. Wait, what? This is like... How many days in a row now that they won't get out of bed for school? This is so unlike Daisy. Yeah, I mean, Molly's always been kind of a troublemaker when it comes to going to school, but not Daisy. Uh, I don't know what to do, Laura. These girls have got to get to school. Hmm, I have an idea. Come here, Dan, and I'll whisper it to you. Okay. Really? You want to try that? I definitely do. This is going to work. Come on, follow me. <whistles> Molly, we should probably get out of bed now. Ooh, what now? I'm thinking all day I can sleep in here. Molly, it's like one o'clock. We have to get up. Besides, uh, I won the deal because um, I stayed in bed the longest. What? No, you didn't. See, you got out of your bed. But you are already out of your bed. Whatever, Molly. We both know I'm the winner. No, you're not. Whatever. I'm going to go get some cereal. Ah, We didn't have to go to school. This was fabulous. Molly, wait for me. Oh, you took the elevator before I could get down there. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where's Mom and Dad? I don't know. Maybe they're in their office or something. I didn't see them in their office. O-M-G! We have the whole house to ourselves! Mmm. That's very good. Mmm. Molly, you're actually eating an apple? Yeah, I am because I'm so hungry. Molly, there's waffles in here. You should eat that. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Molly, I kind of want to go to school now. I mean, I don't want to be late and get detention again tomorrow. Well, you're already late, DZ. It's like one in the afternoon. Yeah, but, click, 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 click. Um, I, I'm going to get detention, and I, I don't want to. Well, you're already late. Yeah, but if I don't show up at all, then I'll definitely get detention. <sighs> Fine, I'll call mom and see where she is and see if she'll drive us to school. It's ringing. Well, Molly, what, what did she pick up? No, she didn't answer. Let me try her number again. Oh my gosh, Daisy! It, 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 it's making the noise that her phone is disconnected! Well, try dad. Try dad. 
Oh yeah, good idea. Is it Vicky? No! His phone is saying disconnected too! What? Appellants? Did they did they abandon us? <laughs> Don't be silly, Daisy. Don't be silly. But Molly, we, we've been so naughty and we haven't gotten out of bed for school. And, and, and now they're not here and the phone is disconnected. When have they ever just left us and not made us get up for school? Wow, you're right, Daisy. I'm going to go to their room and see if their suitcases are there. Good idea, Molly. Good idea. Daisy, you check the bathrooms. Why, Molly? Because Dad had enchiladas for dinner last night and he might be in there. <laughs> Molly, I don't think so. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in their closet or their dresser or whatever. See if their suitcases are there. What? Their, their suitcases are are missing! Yeah, Dad's not in the bathroom evil. Okay, let me check the family safe. OMG! There's only $100 left in here! <gasps> Molly! They took the rest of the money and left! Her parents <laughs> abandoned us! It's all because we were being naughty and wouldn't get out of bed for school! <laughs> Daisy, don't panic! This could be good, I mean... We could do this. We could we could be adults, right? No, Molly, you're the worst adult on the planet. You never get out of bed to your chores or your homework. And you don't even have a job. We can't even afford Eggo Waffles anymore. <laughs> okay, think, Molly. Think, think, think. How can I get Mom and Dad to come back? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just turn on the TV and watch that. That'll help. What? The TV won't turn on? Oh my god, our parents didn't pay the cable bill! Molly, this is terrible! <laughs> oh my gosh, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out! Parents abandoned us! We are all alone! Molly? Molly, are you okay? No, I, I, I can't adult! I get a doll! Molly, seriously, step out of it! Can't a doll! Molly, I can't do this alone! Come back to me! Molly, breathe! Breathe! Oh, Daisy, I see the light! Molly, no! <laughs> Girls, oh, <laughs> there you are! Mom, you're back! Uh, uh, uh. I didn't know where you were! Um, uh, Molly, are you okay? Molly? Yeah, <laughs> uh, fine. Where were you guys today? We, we knew you were coming back. Yep, totally. Your mom and I just didn't want to deal with being an adult anymore, so we went and got ice cream. Yeah, it was super fun. What? We thought you abandoned us and you had ice cream all day? Well, since you didn't want to get out of bed and you were being such brats, we decided we were going to take the day off. OMG, Daisy! Well, you have to admit, Molly, we kind of deserved that. Ugh! Parents are are crazy! Well, Molly, <laughs> are you gonna start getting out of bed on time? Uh Molly? Yeah, but can we get ice cream with you guys too? If you manage to get out of bed for school for one whole week on time, then I will buy you any ice cream cone you want. Okay, sounds like a deal, Mom. Just don't ever abandon us, okay? Never, Molly. Never. Mom! 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 What, Molly? What is it? I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> yeah, Mom. You can't be as busy as I am. Um, Molly, grown-ups have a lot of things to do too, you know. Like what? You're baking again? Well, your sister's birthday is this weekend. Who, Daisy? No, it's not. Molly, no, your sister baby Kira. Oh, yeah, it is her birthday. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> well, Molly, I have to make her a delicious cake. So you're going to have to fend for yourself. But, Mom, I'm hungry. Can I eat some of the cake? Please, please, please. Molly, no, there's a hot dog there you can have. A hot dog. Okay, I'll eat that, but then can I have dessert? I don't have any dessert, Molly. Yeah, you do. You're making that delicious cake. Mm. I'm not going to really use it. 
Molly, this cake is for your sister's birthday. I only have a couple of days to prep everything I need to do for her birthday party. Balloons and decorations and pizzas. Wait, we're having pizza? You guessed it. And also we're having cake? Yup, and I'm making it right now just so I can get ahead of things. Well, I guess I can't have a dessert, but I can't wait till the party. Everything's gonna be so delicious. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Something smells yucky, though. Oh, no. I hope my cake isn't burning. Oh. No, it's not my cake. What could it be? Uh, Mom, I think I know what it is. Ew, baby Kira needs a diaper change. Not it. Molly, you can't help me. Sorry, I've got to do some uh, schoolwork. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> schoolwork, uh-huh. Oh, Molly. Okay, baby Kira. I guess your sister doesn't want to help me, so I'll have to change your diaper. And I'll frost your cake later. Molly, I need you to get ready for bed, okay? Okay, Mom. Just another minute, okay? No, Molly, now. You're going to be late for school again. Don't forget to brush your teeth. I won't. Ugh, school. I have to go to school like almost every day. It's a lot, you know? It's a lot. Okay, I just gotta wash my hands and my face and I'll be all done. La 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 la. Oh my gosh, I'm super thirsty. I'm gonna have a glass of water too. Glug, 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 glug. Well, I better go see if Daisy's ready. Because I know she'll be like, I studied and I did everything I was supposed to. Molly, shh. Baby Kira is just down for bed. Okay, I won't be too loud. Daisy! What do you want, Molly? Cupcake and I are just getting ready to go to bed. Good night, Molly! Get out! Oh, look at Cupcake! She doesn't even sleep in her cage. She sleeps in bed with Daisy. That's right, I'm one spoiled hamster. Now get out, I'm really tired. Hey, rude hamster! Sorry, I just had a really long day and Daisy and I did a lot of studying. Studying? You're a hamster. How did you study? I'm a very smart hamster. Molly, you waking me up. Get out. Okay, good night. Ugh, sisters are so rude. Molly, why aren't you in bed yet? Mom, you saw me just running over to Daisy's. Did you see me run back yet? Well, no, but I'm so busy making this frosting that I didn't really notice. Mom, you're really stressing out about this birthday party. It's going to be fabulous, I promise. Oh, thanks, Molly. Whoa, it's dark in here. It's kind of creeping me out. There, I'll just turn on my nightlight. There, the cake is all frosted and looks beautiful. It's going to be so perfect for baby Kira's party this weekend. <sighs> I'm super tired, though. I have to go to bed. <laughs> Molly, wake up this instant! Wake up! Wake up! Huh? What? Oh, no! I'm late for school, aren't I? Molly, no! I got up this morning to make your girls breakfast before school, and... 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 Baby Kira's cake is missing! It's all gone! It all got eaten! What? What are you talking about? You ate it, didn't you, Molly? What, me? No, I would... I wouldn't do that! You wanted cake so bad that you ate it, didn't you? Uh, Mom, no. I promise I didn't. <sighs> okay, Molly, I believe you. At first I thought it was you, but I guess it wasn't. That means someone has broken into our house. Did you ask Daisy? Yeah, I asked her too. She didn't eat it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe someone broke into our house. Did they take anything? Not that I noticed, Molly. They just ate all the cake. Holy guacamole! We have a cake bandit! Oh, M, G. What are we going to do now? You're going to bake another cake, Mom. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. I hope I have enough time for everything. Molly, did you heal? There's a cake bandit. Yeah, this is serious. We definitely need to set up booby traps. Good idea, Molly. I have the perfect plan. 
As you can see, I've set up some security cameras here. Now I'm going to set them up in the rest of the house. Nobody's going to get away with anything here. There's a security camera in almost every room. <sighs> Finally, I got all the decorations done and the cake. Hopefully no cake bandit breaks in and eats this cake. I don't know what I'll do. <sighs> I wish I was awake enough to stay up all night, but I'm so tired from baking and decorating. I have to go to bed. <sighs> Molly! Molly! Molly, wake up! Wake up! Huh? What, what's going on? Did the cake bandit come back? Yes, Molly, they did! O-M-G, that's it. We're gonna catch him, Mom. We're gonna catch him. Watch this, Mom! Okay, I'm just freaking out. What about, what about your, your sister's birthday? Mom, I have security footage. Let's watch. So far, I don't see anything. Ah, uh, that's my room, Mom, so now you know I'm not the cake bandit. <laughs> what? What? This recording of last night is showing baby Kira. She's out of her crib. What? What is she doing? It's... It's showing her crawling towards the... The kitchen! Oh my gosh, she's sleepwalking! More like cake eating! OMG! She ate her own birthday cake! And I'm betting twice! Yeah, um, but I don't think she knows she's doing it, because she still looks asleep! Oh my gosh, baby Kira sleepwalks and eats at the same time! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Why is that funny? Um, I kind of wish that I could sleep and eat at the same time. That would be delicious dreams. Oh, Molly. Well, I guess I can't blame her, but from now on, I'm going to have to put the cake up where she can't get it. Holy guacamole. At least you know who the cake bandit is, Mom. Yeah, <sighs> looks like I'm baking another cake. And what am I going to do about baby Kira sleepwalking? I don't think there is anything you can do, Mom. Except for maybe try to walk her back to sleep when she does it. Yeah, I'm going to have to sleep in her room tonight just to make sure she stays safe. Holy guacamole. I can't believe baby Kira ate the cake in their sleep. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't my fault for a change. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't, I can't take the test. I'm, I'm not ready. I, I, I didn't study about pink unicorns. No, no. Shh. Molly. Molly. Are you, Molly, are you still sleeping? Oh, what? Pink unicorns. Molly, you, you're having a weird dream about pink unicorns. Seriously. Wake up. It's time for school. I don't want to have to spray you with the fire extinguisher again. No. No, I can't wake up. Too tired. Too sick. Oh, Molly! Get out of this bed right now! Ow! Daisy, quit jumping on me! That hurts! Daisy, I really don't feel good. Molly, I don't believe you. Are you seriously going to crawl out of bed? Holy guacamole! The bus is going to be here any minute. We're going to be late for school. Daisy, I told you already. I don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, you never feel good when it means you have to go to school. Quit faking it and get ready. Who, who do you think you are anyway? My mom? No, but mom's not here right now. She had to go to work early, so she said, I'm in charge. So get ready for school. Ugh, I really don't feel good. And it's not just because we have a test in math class today. My stomach feels all funny and my head hurts. Well, I guess I better go into the bathroom and get ready or Daisy will grab me for life. Oh, wait. I went into the wrong room. That's how sick I am. I don't even know where I am right now. Oh, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Blech. Oh, I really don't feel good. <laughs> Ew, Molly, I heard that. Try not to eat so many beans. Well, I guess I better brush my teeth. I don't want to have stinky breath. Okay, let's see. Where is my toothbrush? Where? Where? Okay, there it is. Molly, come on! The school bus is here! Uh, well, I got to brush my teeth a little bit. 
Guess I don't even have time for breakfast. Oh, well. My stomach hurts anyway. Molly, did you seriously just jump over the railing again? Mom told you not to do that. Look, I know you think you're in charge this morning, but I'm not in the mood, Daisy. Don't be rude to me, Molly. I don't care. I I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Molly, where's your backpack? Oh, yeah, I forgot my backpack. All right, let me grab it. Got it. Molly, that's not your backpack. I know. My backpack's in the washer. All I have is a suitcase, and it feels so heavy. Molly, get on the school bus. We don't want to be late. Daisy, you're always so worried we're going to be late. We're not going to be late, I promise. Yeah, because I annoy you all the time and tell you, come on, let's go. <laughs> Molly, why are you driving the school bus? What is going on? Molly, you cannot drive a school bus. Well, the school bus driver quit last week, so it's my job to drive us to school. Oh, my God, we're all going to die. Daisy, seriously, quit being so dramatic. Uh, Molly, Molly, that's not a road. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. My sister is so dramatic, I swear. Molly, quit driving on the sidewalk. Oh, boy, this isn't going to be good. You're going to crash into the school. Well, I got us here on time, though. Oh, brother, look at this. It's, it's, the bus is in the, okay, just back the bus up. Okay, fine. I thought my park job was just fine. Molly, you parked inside the school. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's just get school over with. Ugh, I'm really not feeling too good. My stomach hurts. Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly, good morning. Whoa, Molly, you look like a zombie. I'm not really a zombie. I don't crave brains or anything. But my stomach is really upset. Oh, Molly, you look like maybe you have a flu bug or something. Uh, you're my best friend and I love you and stuff, but could you sit over there? Because I don't want it. Yeah, okay, fine. I wonder where the teacher is. She should be here any minute. There's the teacher. Man, she's late. She should get detention. I heard that, Molly. Good morning. Traffic was terrible, and the school bus driver was driving insane. Um, I don't know who the school bus driver is. Me either, but they should get fired. I agree. I totally agree. Hey, I got us here on time, didn't I? Okay, Molly, since you're so talkative today, why don't you come up to the board and solve this problem? Oh, man, do I have to? Yes, Molly, please. Okay, fine. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to this. I also don't feel so good. And I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel so good. Molly? Molly, are you okay? Molly, say something. She's just faking it because she doesn't want to have to do the problem on the board. Molly, should I do CPR? No. No, I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, my gosh. Molly, what's wrong? I think I might have the flu or something. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, Molly. Well, let me help you up. Come on. There you go. Okay, why don't you head right to the school nurse? Okay. She's faking it. Um, Daisy, uh, she's actually green. She feels so sick. She's definitely not faking it. She probably just painted herself that way with makeup. Daisy, do you want to find out by me coughing on you? No, don't cough on me. You have some sort of weird disease. See, I guess I'm not faking it anymore. Am I, Daisy? Ugh, off to the school nurse. Uh, uh, nurse Susie. Oh, Molly, what brings you into the nurse's office today? Nurse Susie, I, I, do, I don't f f feel very good. I passed out in my math class. Oh my gosh, Molly. Okay, come right in and lay down on the magic cot. Okay. Why is it called magic? Well, because when you lay on it, sometimes you feel better and you can go back to class. Would you like to try that? Yeah, oh, oh, okay, I'll lay here for a few minutes. Okay, I'll be back to check on you. Bye. Ugh, I still don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, how are you feeling? The magic cot didn't work. The magic cot didn't work. Oh, my goodness, Molly. Hmm, this sandwich is delicious. Oh, that's going to make me throw up. Get out of here with that sandwich. 
Ooh, you're a little grumpy. Okay, I'm gonna take you into the x-ray room and just take a quick look at your lungs, okay? Fine. Ugh. Okay, Molly, hop right into the x-ray machine. This won't hurt a bit. Okay. Ugh. I think maybe, um, I'm dying! You're not dying, Molly. Trust me. Oh, my. It looks as if your lungs are congested. I think you definitely have the flu. We're going to have to call your mom and you're going to go home. Now, tell me why exactly you came into school today. You could pass this disease to lots of other... Well, it's not a disease, but you could pass this virus to a lot of other people. Um, because my sister said I was faking it. And my mom left her in charge. She had to go to work early. Well, viruses are not anything to take lightly. You definitely have a fever and congestion in your lungs. You need to be home in bed resting. Now, what's your mom's phone number? It's one, two, seven, three, six, five, four. All right, I'll ring her right now. Hello? Hi, this is the school nurse, Nurse Susie. Oh no, which one of them are in trouble now? No, no, it's the school nurse. How many months does Molly have detention for? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Molly is actually sick. What? She is? Is she okay? She appears to have some lung congestion and a fever. It's just a typical virus, but I need you to come pick her up. Absolutely. Tell Molly I'll be right there. Okay, thanks so much. Molly, your mom says she'll be right here. Come on, you can go lay back down on the magic cot until she gets here. Are you going to make me go back to class? Absolutely not, Molly. You're probably contagious. And you need to be home in your own comfortable bed. Even the magic cot can't work this time. Now just close your eyes and rest till your mom gets here. Thank you. Uh, I don't feel so good. Nurse Susie. <coughs> oh my, Daisy. Are you okay? Wow, you look just like your sister. I'm not a zombie, I swear. I just feel so sick. I look terrible. Oh, she infected me with her disease. Actually, correction. She infected you with a virus. Ah, oh, Come on, I'll give you an x-ray and see if you have the same lung congestion. If you do, I'll send you home and you can rest. Oh, that would be good. Please call my mom right away. <coughs> This won't hurt a bit, Daisy. Okay, if you say so. Oh, but my stomach hurts. Just as I suspected. Lung congestion, just like Molly. Okay, and you have a fever. I'm going to call your mom. Hello? Hi, um, I'm so sorry to do this again, but it's Nurse Susie. Oh no, did Molly forget her backpack? I just got her into bed. No, no, no. Molly didn't forget anything, but you're going to have to come back down to the school. Wait, what? D did you forget to tell me she has attention? No, it's Daisy. She has the same virus as Molly. Oh, no, Daisy. Okay, well, tell Daisy I'll be there in like five minutes to pick her up. Will do. Thank you. Daisy, your mom says she's coming soon. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I want to go home so bad I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, it's all right. Your mom said she'll be here in like five minutes. So everything's going to be all right, okay? I feel bad because I told my sister she was faking it. And I made her come to school because my mom left me in charge. Oh, Daisy. Well, in your defense, Molly does fake being sick sometimes and gets detention. I know, but now that I've caught this virus, I know exactly how she feels. It's horrible! Oh, Daisy, everything will be fine, I promise. You'll be over this virus in no time. Now, come on, you can lay on the magic cot until your mom gets here. What's so magic about it? It did not make me feel better. Why does everybody call it the magic cot? Don't worry, Brookie. Now that you're at the school nurse, everything will be fine because they have a magic cot here. I don't know about that magic cot, Brittany. I don't think it really works. Especially not if you hurt your leg like I did. Everything's going to be fine, Brookie. Trust me. Although I'm not really sure how you did that crazy thing at the playground. I, I know. It's just it hurts so bad. 
The school nurse will help you, I promise. I just keep thinking about my accident. It was horrible. Hey, Brittany, want to see me backflip? I've been working on this in gymnastics. Um, Brookie, I don't think that's a really good idea. That's a really high ladder. And and I don't, I don't, I don't know. What? I can't hear you. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Ow! Brookie? Brookie, are you okay? No, my leg. I think it's broken. Oh, my gosh. It just keeps playing over and over in my mind, like in slow motion. Oh, Brookie, I'm so sorry you got hurt. It's, it's, it's horrible. It is horrible. Hey, girls, what brings you? Whoa, what happened to you, Brookie? Um, she fell on the playground. Well, actually, she was doing a backflip off the tallest slide ladder that we have in the playground. What? Why were you doing that? Oh, I'm getting so tired. I've seen so many students today. Well, you better wake up because Brookie here needs your help, Nurse Susie. Okay, Brookie, come on into the x-ray room and we'll take a look at what's going on inside your leg. Oh, okay, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous, Brookie. An x-ray doesn't hurt. One time I fell and hurt my arm and I had to have an x-ray. It didn't hurt at all. Okay. I'll wait out here for you. Just as I suspected, you definitely have a broken ankle. I'm going to have to call your mom and she'll have to take you to the hospital. Oh no, this is the worst news ever. And just hang tight, Brookie. I'm going to call your mom now. Hello? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, mom's having a break, Brookie. Okay. Yeah, Brookie got hurt at school today. I'm so sorry to tell you. I'm just going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the history of this. Yeah, no. I think she's broken her ankle. Yes, you'll have to take her to the hospital. I'll call ahead for you. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Goodbye. Your mom's on her way, Brookie, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. Oh, this was the longest day in the history of days. Oh, I can't wait to go home. Oh. Ah, oh, that was such a long day, but my favorite show is on Survivor! OMG, I love this show so much! I wonder what's gonna happen to Matt. And and did Judy survive? study hall? Huh? Nah, I'm gonna stay here in the gym and work on my um jump shot. But Molly, gym class is over. I don't really have anything to study and I prefer staying in the gym. Study hall is so boring. Okay, well, suit yourself. I don't want to be late. Bye. Bye. I think I did awesome in the just this gym class. I um got so many baskets. It was awesome. You think you actually did good? Who said that? Oh, should have known it was Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Did you just throw that ball at my head? No, not really. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. That was rude. Sorry, um, I did, really didn't mean to. Well, I'm the best basketball player. Everyone in gym class saw it today. No, they didn't. You know I'm a great basketball player. I even made it onto the team. What team? There's only a boys team. Yeah, but one time I dressed up as a boy and then tried out for the team and I made it. I don't believe you. Whatever. Look at that. I just got another one. You're just a loser. No, I'm not. I'm great at basketball. <sighs> Whatever. I'm great at cheerleading. I'm great at all of my schoolwork. I'm great at everything, including basketball. Yeah, okay, if you say so. If you don't think so, why don't we just have a competition? Yeah, okay, we can have a competition. Whoever gets the most baskets wins. Yeah, um, let's say in one minute. One minute? Like guacamole! That's not very much time. What are you, chicken? No, I'm not chicken. I can do it. Then let's get started. I'll go first. One, 
two, three. Oh my gosh, she's getting so many baskets. How am I gonna ever win? Oh, I wanna be the best basketball player. She always bullies me and I wanna show her that I'm good at something. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. Time's up, I got 50 baskets. 50? Holy guacamole! Your turn, loser. You can't keep throwing baskets. Your turn's over, Sarah. Sarah! Okay, whatever. You're so annoying. On your mark and set, go. One. Two. Oh my gosh, I've gotten every one so far. I'm doing really good. Oh no, I missed that one. It's okay. I'm okay. okay watch this. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. Your time's almost up. Okay, I've got, I've got to do more. I've got to do more. <laughs> 51, 51. I win, I win. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now who's the loser? Ah, oh, Sarah, you, you pushed me. Oh, I hit my head. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, sucks to be you. I'm out of here. Molly, you're gonna miss English. Molly? Ma Molly! Oh my god, Molly, somebody call 911! Okay, let's see. Molly, hmm. Okay, are you the sister? Yes? <laughs> Is she gonna be okay? Well, your sister actually suffered a pretty bad bonk on the head. I know, Sarah pushed her. She got in school suspension for it. Wow, sounds serious. Well, um, I don't know about that drama, but your sister got a bad concussion and now has amnesia. Amnesia? Is that where they can't remember who they are? That's exactly what happened. I don't know if your sister's memory will ever return. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Who am I? You're Molly! Don't you remember? The best thing you can do is try to jar her memory. Ah, but I don't hold a lot of hope for your sister. But well, thanks for the positivity! Ay, yeah, yeah, the doctor's around you. Who am I? You're Molly! <laughs> Who am I? You're Molly! Who are you? I'm Daisy! I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. You're Molly. I'm Daisy. No! You're Molly! Who am I? Oh boy. Baby, if I remind you with some of the amazing memories we had together. I remember one time like it was yesterday. We are um, having our summer break starting today. And we're at the lake. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Daisy, I didn't ask you, ask you to be in this scene. Well, I'm a part of this channel too. I could be in it if I want to. Okay, close up of just me because I don't want my sister to be in it. Molly, rude! Ah, oh, fine. I guess you can say hi too. Of course I can, Molly. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy, the star of the show. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. Molly, seriously, can we both be the stars? Nope, just me. Whatever. I'm going to go get in the water. I can't do with my sister anymore. This is going to be the longest summer break ever. I'm already missing school. Yeah, you would miss school. It's just like you to miss school. Ooh, the lake feels awesome today. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Ah, this is the life. When I grow up, I'm just going to be on vacation permanently. Molly, you have to have a job. No, I don't. Who says? Um, well, if you're going to be able to afford to come to the lake every day, you got to have money. Ugh, there's that naggy thing about having money. I wish I could just, like, chill out all day long. Molly, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire so we can roast marshmallows. <sighs> Don't get in the cooler, Mom didn't say. Molly, she can have something to drink if she wants. Just because she's little, she's still thirsty sometimes. Don't you want a baba? No, I got you to want a soda. Soda. Ugh, you're so grown up, baby Kira. Molly, do you remember me now? Huh? Who, who's Molly? Molly, you're Molly. Do you remember yourself? Who are you? I'm your sister, Daisy. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to tell her more memories. I also remember when... <laughs> Baby Kira, I promise it's really not that bad. Our dentist is so nice and, and, and well, it doesn't hurt or anything. She's freaking out. It's no use. Hello, who's next? Oh, Molly, Daisy, and a brand new patient, baby Kira. Yeah, my sister is freaking out. Well, come on, baby Kira. Let's see if we can turn that frown upside down. I got good dentist. No, I freak out. No, no, no. You won't freak out. Come on, I'll hold your hand. La, 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 la. My sister is freaking out. I'm going to sit here with her, though. Because I'm a nice big sister like that. Okay, baby Kira. Dry your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I try. You know what always makes a lot of my patients feel better? A new little friend. I got a monkey. Whoa, I never got a monkey. I want a monkey. You're a big kid now, Molly. But baby Kira is, well, just little. How about this adorable monkey? Do you want to give him a squeeze? Maybe a little hug? I got him. I, I named him uh, Marvin. Wow. <laughs> That's a very interesting name. Marvin the monkey. Okay. What's his name for sure? Marv. Oh, okay. Marv the monkey. I the monkey go kill. All right. Now those tears are drying up real quick. Now we're going to tickle your teeth. That's right. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> I just realized that my dentist is a little cray cray, but it's all right. She's super nice, right? I think. Am I going to have to have a real canal? I hope not, Molly. <laughs> and I'm crazy for teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. Yes, I do. I love teeth. How about you? Brushing, flossing, make them shine. That's how I've kept my teeth of mine. Wow, Dr. Payne. Good thing you became a dentist because your singing voice is well... Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the best singer, but I'm happy to be a dentist. Well, if that's your calling in life. I don't know you want to anymore. Oh, I haven't even tickled your teeth yet. Okay, let's tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickling your teeth. Huh, well, I guess baby Kira isn't so sad anymore. Look at her face. And her teeth are super shiny and white. <laughs> I think that she's going to love the dentist from here on out. Okay, baby Kira, you're all done. Uh, and just for being a good girl, I'm going to give you a coupon for a free donut at Starbucks. I get donut! You hear that? I get donut! Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn next? Sure is, Molly. Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Have you been brushing? Uh-huh. And flossing? Um, uh, well, um, uh... Molly, <gasps> you haven't been flossing? That's disappointing. I know, I'm sorry, I'll try harder. What's this blue stuff in between your teeth? Uh, <laughs> uh, blueberries, yeah. Um, more like blueberry icing from a blueberry donut. I'm very sorry, Molly, but you have a cavity. What? What? A cavity? Oh, no. Yep, I'll just need to give you a little bit of a shot. Nope, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> um, it's Daisy's turn. Daisy! Molly, it's your turn. Come on. Next time, maybe you'll floss and eat less donuts. Oh, man. Molly, do you remember who you are now? Mm, this is good. What is this? It's called a hot dog. But do you remember who you are? Mmm, hot dogs are delicious. No, I still have no clue who I am. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I also remember when... It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, raining so hard. Let me under there, too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't Loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh, man. This totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, Loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called Loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were Losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on, 
Let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days. And then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa. This is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my god, she's under the water! Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick up my sister, she's obviously hurt! Molly, see something! Anything! Look at her leg! It looks broken! I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog tearing her! Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... <sighs> I'm sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. <sighs> okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much, bye! Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog. I mean, triple dog doing my sister. Oh my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. As soon as you get to the hospital, they'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I can still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. Molly, are you even listening? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Nurse! Nurse! There's a crazy lady in here yelling at me! That crazy lady is your sister. I have a sister? Where? Where is she? I'm your sister, Daisy! Oh, this is no use. Okay, I have one last memory to share with you. Then I'll have to let you go forever. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to let that go. <laughs> I thought we were talking about letting things go. Ew, it smells horrible! Okay, fine. I'll stay here and tell you that, even though you fought it and it smells awful. Daisy? Is, is that you? 
Molly? Uh, are you okay? Daisy, I remember you! Oh, I'm so happy! But the for a minute there, I thought maybe I would get rid of my annoying sister. You really want to get rid of me? <laughs> Just kidding! Oh my gosh, I remember everything! Sarah pushed me, and I fell and hit my head! Oh, she is a horrible bully! Yeah, she got in school suspension for that one. Holy guacamole, she did? Yeah, and you better rest, Molly. I don't want you to strain yourself. Does that mean I don't have to do any homework? Yep, not until you feel better. Then I feel terrible! For at least another week or so. Oh, Molly, same old sister I've always known. What are you reading? Are you reading a joke book? <laughs> no, Mom. I'm reading this book called The Wonky Donkey. Really? What's it about, Molly? Well, Wonky Donkey? <laughs> it's hilarious. Really? Read it out loud. I'd like to have a laugh, too. Okay, Mom. I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> I can stop laughing. I was walking down the road, and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. Wonky donkey. <laughs> that sounds silly. Um, um, so he was walking down the road and he had only three at legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. Hee haw! <laughs> That's a silly book, Molly. I <laughs> know, right? It's hilarious. Hey, what's everybody laughing about? I want to know the joke. Daisy, I'm just reading the wonky donkey to mom. Oh, I love that book. It's hilarious. Um, but I came out here to ask Mom a serious question. You did, Daisy? Is everything okay? Yeah, perfectly fine, Mom. Unless, of course, you say no. And then my heart will be broken forever. Oh, <laughs> nice one, Daisy. Nice one. Okay, Daisy, what's the question? I was wondering if... Well, and don't say no right away. Just think about it, okay, Mom? And then the wonky donkey said, Molly, this is serious. Sorry, the wonky donkey. <laughs> wow, Molly, it sounds like somebody gave you a funny pill. <laughs> yeah, it's super funny, this book. Molly, seriously, I'm trying to ask Mom an important question. Okay, sorry, sorry, okay. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> Sorry, it's the Wonky Donkey! It is pretty funny, Daisy. I know, but never would it get serious. Okay, Daisy, we're serious. I'm putting the Wonky Donkey away. What is it? I was wondering, Mom, if Cookie Cookie could come for a sleepover. Hmm, well. Don't say no, Mom. I want her to come for a sleepover, too. Please! Who said you were invited, Molly? Girls, be nice to one another. Tell Daisy she's the one that's saying I'm not invited. I'm just kidding. Molly's invited. I guess. You guess? Your most awesome sister who's so much fun? And you also is super stinky because you didn't even take a bath today. Um, Molly, if there's going to be a sleepover, you need to take a bath. Does that mean she can come over? Yes, she can come over, Daisy. Hooray! I'm going to go call her and tell her. And I'm going to go take a bath because... No one wants to come to my sleepover if I'm stinky. <laughs> ah, that's much better. I can't believe Brookie's coming over for a sleepover. This is going to be so cool. Molly, stop talking to people on my channel. Okay, Daisy, but you left the camera with me. Okay, yeah, but it's still my channel. Just leave it where I left it. You don't want this to be for gaming with Molly? No, it's for gaming with Daisy. What are we doing right now? Just sitting here? Yep, waiting for Pookie. Why don't we turn on the TV or something? Nope, I don't want to. Hey, I hear the door. I'm going to get it. Molly, she's my friend. Well, hurry up then, Daisy. Um, I kind of let myself in. <laughs> it's okay, Pookie. Come on in. Daisy, why were you sitting there on the couch? She lives right next door. You do know that she was going to be here in like one second, right? Okay, whatever, Molly. I was trying to be patient. Come on, Brookie, come into my room. No, Brookie, come into my room. Um, uh, well, uh, since
since Stacy invited me to the sleepover, I'll go to her room first. Fine, I'll go to Daisy's room too. Fine, Molly, you can come in. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Molly, you're not sleeping. Stop it. <laughs> That's what we're not going to be doing tonight at our super awesome sleepover. You mean my sleepover that you invited to? Ah, whatever. Yours, mine. It's just a sleepover. Okay, girls, no fighting if I'm going to be spending the night. You have to get along the entire time I'm here. Well, now that's a challenge. You can say that again. Come on, Bookie, play with the brightly colored unicorn. Okay. Um, I don't have a toy. Oh. Don't cry, Molly. We'll take turns. Okay, well, I'm going to go play some music so that we have something to, like, listen to while we're, um, while we're playing, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Okay, I'm going to get on YouTube and I'm going to play the brightly colored unicorn. Theme song! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Brightly colored unicorn. Ooh, I love the theme song for this. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Me too. I love this show. Except for I haven't seen like the last three episodes. What? Why not? Um, because my television broke. Oh, that is the most horrible thing I've ever heard. You must watch them right now. I'll ask mom to make some popcorn. Mom, could you make some snacks or something? Popcorn, cookies, whatever. Sure, are you girls gonna watch a movie? Yeah. Um, Brookie, oh, cookie, I'm gonna eat that. Mom, can I eat this cookie? Sure, I guess. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Brookie Cookie's TV broke, mom. What? That's terrible. I'm sure her mom and dad will fix it this weekend or whatever, but anyway, she couldn't watch the last three episodes of Brightly Colored Unicorn. Wow, that sounds terrible. Totally. Hey, Brookie. Hey, where'd you get that delicious cookie? Um, nowhere. Hmm. Molly, did you bring enough for everybody? Oh, well, uh, no, but I was super hungry. Molly, you're a very rude host. Sorry, I, I did tell Mom to make us something, though, or I asked her to. Yeah, well, hopefully she makes more cookies since you ate them all. Ooh, cooking. Nobody wants to watch cooking. Um, I have to agree with Molly on this one. I would rather watch the brightly colored unicorn. Is it not on? Is our cable out? Did our TV break? Molly, stop freaking out. It's on right now. Okay, good. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Oh, this is the one where Sparkles flies to unicorn land and saves all the unicorn babies that had um gotten lost when they went hiking. Ooh, this was a great episode. Well, don't tell me what happens, guys. I want to see it. Girls, snacks are ready. Oh, snacks, my favorite. Mom, all you made was a salad. I'm making pizza too, Molly. Start with the salad, though. It's healthy. Okay. Guys, don't go out into the kitchen yet. Why, Molly? Because all that's out there is salad so far. No, the pizza's done, girls. Pizza! You're the best mom ever, I swear. You're the best mom. Oh, thanks, Molly. Ooh, pizza, my favorite with pepperoni. I love sleepovers. Now, we have to discuss which room I'm going to be sleeping in. Mine, of course. Molly, this is my sleepover. Mm. Yeah, but I've got a cooler room. No, you don't, Molly. I have a cooler room. Girls, don't fight over who has the cooler room, or Brookie will have to go home. What? No! Okay, well, I wanted to sleep in my room. Okay, all of you girls should sleep in Daisy's room since it's her sleepover. It was her idea. Good idea! Okay, now I don't know how we're all going to fit in this bed, though. <laughs> I'll just, like, lay down right here. And then you guys cram in here. Um, I don't think we're going to all fit in the bed. Well, did you bring a sleeping bag? Um, no. Okay, well, Daisy, come in here. We have to see if we can all fit in your room. Fine, Molly. I'll see if we can all fit. Okay, there's me. And now, Bookie, your turn. Um, there's no room for me.
Molly? Daisy? Are you guys sleeping? Ugh, oh, they didn't leave anywhere for me to sleep. I guess I'm sleeping up here. Some sleepover, they fell asleep at seven o'clock. Ugh. Oh. All right, Violet and Scarlet, are you ready for our very first family vacation? I don't know. I want to go back to bed. Oh, Scarlet, don't say that. You love vacation. Well, I mean, I don't know yet because this is your first one, but I'm sure you're going to. Yes, yeah, Scarlet, don't be such a grumpy goose. It's going to be fun. Whatever, Violet, you're annoying. Okay, item number one is no arguing on family vacation. That's going to be impossible, Mommy. Yeah, especially with a sister like her. Okay, girls, that is rule number one, no arguing. Rule number two, let's have fun, fun, fun. Now, did I pack enough diapers? I'm ready for vacation! <laughs> I've had three years with babies, pooping, bottles, and sleepless nights. I need a vacation more than anyone ever needed on this entire planet. Well, honey, why are you wearing your bathing suit? We haven't even gotten on the plane yet. Oh, I don't know. I, I I, didn't think about that part of it. I was just thinking about vacation. Somewhere sunny with palm trees swaying in the breeze. <laughs> Daddy, you're so funny. What's a palm tree? Oh, it's a special type of tree that grows in the, in the warm parts of the country. And I don't know. You'll just have to see when you get there. They're pretty amazing, though, because it means coconuts. Okay, Dan, I think you've gone a little crazy. He's totally crazy, Mommy. Okay, well, I'm going to go get our suitcase. We don't want to be late for our flight. You girls be good and stay right here. Tolly! <laughs> Mommy says stay right here. I can go high. Then we're going to be late and she's going to laugh. <laughs> or cry. I don't know. See you can't find me. Scarlet, we're... Scarlet, come on! We're going to miss our flight! Scarlet, where are you? She naughty, Mommy. I know, Violet. She can be very naughty sometimes. Scarlet, come out here right now. You can't find me, Mommy. You can't find me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've lost my twin. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Is that her over there in the washing machine? Ugh, Scarlet, get out of there right now. <laughs> Mommy, was it laughy laughing? No, it wasn't a moment of laughing. Come on. We're going to be late. Okay, we go now. Come my annoying sister. Whatever, you're the naughty one. I'm the best identical twin. I uh, show sure you are, Violet. You're boring. Oh, this weather's terrible. Um, I'm rethinking my choice about wearing swim trunks. Um, freezing out here. I don't have any shoes. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I think you're turning into a popsicle. Or like a brick of ice. Dan, are you okay to drive? You look like, well, maybe you've been frozen to death. Uh, my hands are frozen. Why are you wearing a bathing suit? We live in Brookhaven. We have winter here. I don't know. Oh my gosh, just turn on the heat so you defrost. Boy, play. This sounds amazing. Woohoo. Whoa, this is nice. Are you warmed up now, Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> this was worth my entire life savings to take this private flight. Oh, yeah. I don't even have to wear shoes or socks. <clears throat> and I just farted in the seat. Ew, Dad! Hey, I paid for this plane. I can fart in it if I want to. Ew, the whole plane is filling up with gas. Everybody get your parachute. Gross. Okay, wait. Is there an actual parachute? Oh, I think you can actually have a pair with you. Oh my gosh, don't touch! Scarlet, what are you doing? Oh, Scarlet! Uh, don't worry, I have a pair with you. Oh my gosh. She's, she's taking, she's taking a very different way to our vacation, honey. Oh my God, I hope she's going to be okay. Um, Dan, this doesn't look anything like the home away picture that we saw. Um, I don't know what happened. This is the right address. This place stinks! Hey, girls, that's not very nice to say. Your father worked very hard for this vacation, and I guess it'll be nicer on the inside than the outside. Yeah, the inside pictures look amazing. The 
let's go ahead and see it. Uh-oh, the stairs are broken. That's okay. That's still considered outside. Oh, my gosh. It's horrible in here. How come I paid $1,000 a night for this? Uh-oh, Dad's really mad. Hey, quit slamming the door in my face. Violet! <laughs> you couldn't get in. Wow, this place is a dump. There's, oh, ooh, someone left pizza. Don't eat that, Scarlet. That's very old. Is the TV sitting on top of cardboard boxes? Uh, okay, I'm gonna call the owner right now and see what's going on. Ew, the sink is gross. What do the bedrooms look like? I guess they're sort of okay. There's some holes in the walls and stuff, though. Yeah, um, this is your renter for the week. Uh, yeah, the lake house. Uh, could you please call me back as soon as you get this? Oh, man, his mailbox is full. Ugh. Honey, we'll just make the best of it. We haven't had a vacation in over three years. We just need this, okay? Everybody get in your bathing suits and get out to the lake right away. Okay, Mom. That just means Mom doesn't want to hang out inside this, this dumpy house. Girls, try to just be good. I'm trying, Mom, but how am I supposed to vacation here? Same way you would anywhere else. Just try not to pay attention to the scenery. <laughs> That's why to the lake is a rotten egg. Okay, well, this isn't so bad. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. Splash! Look at me, Daddy! I'm swimming! Don't go too far out into the lake! Ew, is that a dead fish with three eyes? Ew, this lake is contaminated! What? No, it's not, Scarlet. Don't say that. Yes, it is! There's a dead fish and it has three eyes! Oh, my goodness. Scarlet, you're such a troublemaker. Look at this place, Dad. Do you think that this lake is full of toxic sludge? Uh, I do smell something kind of funny. Hey, guys! Let's go in the lake! No, don't do it! Oh, good. You're just sitting down. Why? What's wrong? It's full of toxic slime. Oh, well, I don't... Did you even look at the reviews of this place before we came? Well, we can have a nice fire while we smell the toxic sludge. Oh, my gosh. We're all going to go home with an extra arm or an extra eyeball. I just know it. I packed sandwiches. I a sandwich. I have a sandwich. Oh, let's just make it the best of this vacation. The house is kind of, well, garbagey. And the lake smells really weird. But we're going to have a great time, right? Sure we are. I think we'll have a great time. We got those marshmallows. Great idea, Scarlet. Oh, wow. Don't burn your marshmallow, Violet. I mean, Scarlet, which one of, which one of you is which? I, I mix you up all the time. <laughs> He's our dad. He still doesn't know which is which. Dad, I'm Scarlet, the one with the polka dot bathing suit. And I'm Violet, the one with the pink bathing suit. Oh, I really wish I could get in this lake. Oh, well, I'm just going to chance it. Really? Yeah, why not? First, I'm going to catch some rays. And now I'm going to jump in the water. Oh, yeah. But you'll get three eyeballs! I don't care! It's the only vacation I've gotten in three years! And I've changed a lot of poopy diapers in those three years! Three eyeballs or not, I'm swimming in it! Watch out for the dead fish! It's got three eyes, it's creepy! Uh, honey? Are you okay? Yeah, why? What's wrong? You have a very strange glow about you! Ah! Mom's turning into a mutant! I don't know what you guys are talking about! I'm fine. Honey, you're starting to foam at the mouth. Are you okay? I told you. I'm fine. Ah, mommy looks creepy. Honey, you're looking like a crustacean. Uh, are you sure you're all right? What do you mean? <laughs> I just want to go back in the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. I went into the water for a second. Is that going to happen to me? I don't know. I think mom may have drank some of the water on accident. I think we just lost your mother for good. She's mutated and turned into some sort of lake monster. And I burned my marshmallow. Worst vacation ever. I can't believe it, Daisy. Someone actually figured out all three questions. OMG, we have a super fan on our hands, Marley. 
That's right, Daisy. I never thought when our YouTube manager suggested that we do a contest to meet with our biggest fan that they'd actually guess all three questions. What were they again, Molly? I can't remember. Well, the first one about me was very easy. What's Molly's favorite color? And the fan answered purple. Very good answer. Second one was, what flavor ice cream did I spill on the couch in episode 226 of the Roblox Happy Family? Oh, I don't even know that one, Molly. Which one was it? Mint chocolate chip, of course. Ooh, mint chocolate chip, you're making me hungry. <laughs> and number three was perhaps the hardest one of all because I've never told anyone this through our YouTube channel. What's your middle name, right, Molly? That's right, and it's May. It's spelled M-A-E, though. You know, just to make me a little different. Wow, Molly, what's our super fan's name? Sarah. Oh, God, not Sarah the Bully. No, Sarah Jenkins. We don't know Sarah Jenkins. Yeah, Sarah the Bully's last name isn't Jenkins. Thank goodness. Can you imagine having to hang out with her all day? Not really. Anyway, we're meeting her in an hour for ice cream and to sign an autograph or two. Sounds amazing, Molly. I'll go get changed. Okay, girls, are you ready to meet your biggest fan? Yeah, totally. Well, Molly, not really, because you didn't even change into a cute outfit or anything. What? My outfit's cute. It's very Molly. Uh, that it is. It is very Molly. Um, so, Sophie, um, when is this super fan going to get here? Any minute, girls. You guys can go into the ice cream shop and order your ice cream, and, um, we'll start recording. Sounds good. Ooh, get to meet my super fan, and I get ice cream. I think this is a day for birthday cake. Ooh, that sounds good. So, uh, what, what ice cream flavor are you girls going to be eating? I'm eating birthday cake because it's a celebration. Um, I'm going to get birthday cake too. Daisy, why are you copying me? This is for our YouTube channel. I wasn't trying to copy you. It's just what sounded good. Oh, we're always arguing on YouTube. This is the best day of my life. There they are, Molly and Daisy. Oh, my God. I know you guys now because I met you so I can say I know you. Hi, I'm Sarah Jenkins. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're definitely extra. Extra amazing for being our number one fan. Now, what kind of ice cream do you want? It's on me and Daisy. Um, um, um. I don't even know if I can eat ice cream. I'm so excited. Okay, don't worry. I'll eat your ice cream cone then. Molly. I'm just so happy I get to meet you guys right now. Seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just, but seriously. I'm, uh, no need to cry. Seriously. We are really down to earth people. And, um, oh, sorry. Maybe a little too down to earth. Buddy, did you just fought in front of our number one fan? Um, uh, sorry about that. It's okay. I don't mind smelling your gas. After all, I am your number one fan. Um, okay. That's cool. Okay, pick your ice cream flavor and let's go sit down and talk, okay? Okay, sure, but first let's take some selfies, okay? Okay, Sarah Jenkins, whatever you want. Wait, let me make sure I don't have ice cream on my face. Ah, eh, who cares? This is YouTube gold, guys. I knew this would be a great idea for the YouTube channel. Okay, just a lot more selfies, okay? Okay, I think some of those must be good. Okay, well, let's sit down and talk, Sarah. We want to know all about you. You don't want to know anything about me. I'm just boring. I want to hear about you guys and your life and what you do all day. Well, my sister mostly just eats ice cream and farts a lot. <laughs> That's not true. I fart a little bit, but I do eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. I've been watching your YouTube channel for like five years now. Oh my gosh. You guys have had such a transformation. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, um, you have about 10 more minutes, and then our YouTube stars need to get home. They do have a curfew. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I can't even think what questions to ask you guys. I'm so nervous. We don't have to be nervous around us, Sarah. We, we're, we're nice people. We're down to earth. Yeah, I know because I'm their channel manager, so I'm around them all the time. They're super cool. You guys are super cool. Thanks for picking me as your number one fan. Oh, I'm going to cry again. Sorry, I'm just so emotional. Okay, well, it's time for Molly and Daisy to go, Sarah. But we appreciate you being their number one fan. We have a gift certificate for their web store. It's for $500. Holy guacamole, $500? That 
that's a great prize. It sure is. Thanks so much. Well, it was nice meeting you, Sarah Jenkins. Don't forget to watch all of our videos and hit the subscribe button. Molly, cheapos, you're not trying to sell on the YouTube channel. Sorry, it's just sort of second nature at this point. But, um, we're really gra glad you're our fan. Thanks so much. This was the best day of my life. Okay, bye, Sarah. Nice to meet you. She was so nice, even though she was super nervous. Yeah, well, I guess you just kind of get starstruck when you meet a YouTuber. True, Molly, true. Hey, wait up, Molly. Sorry, I ate a bunch of sugar. <laughs> now I have to go potty. See you at home. <laughs> oh, man, why did I eat so much ice cream? Now I have an upset stomach. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pay extra on the sewer bill this year. Oh, oh my stomach. Daisy? Is, is that you? I'm, I'm, I'm on the toilet. Don't come in. Um, uh, uh. Daisy? Uh, Daisy? Um, no, it's, um, it's Sarah Jenkins. Ah! I'm on the toilet. What are you doing in my house? Um, sorry, I just... I, I didn't get a good selfie with you guys. They were all blurry, and I really need one because I have to post it on all my social media. I'm in the bathroom! Uh, wait, okay, let me at least flush the toilet. Ew. I don't want my doodoo to be in the picture. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your, your bathroom time. Ew, it's kind of stinky in here. It's a bathroom! Of course it's stinky! Okay, just come right over here, and we can take the selfie. No, you need to get out of my house, Sarah Jenkins. Is that any way to treat your fan? Is that any way to treat a YouTuber to just break into their bathroom during their poo-poo time? Oh, sorry. Come on, we can go out of the bathroom. Besides, I think I'm about to pass out. Maybe you're lactose intolerant. We should go to the hospital and get you a test. Sarah, this is crossing the line for fandom. I think you're a really nice person and all, but you can't just follow us home, break into our bathroom and stuff. Okay, well, then just take a selfie with me and I'll be on my way. All right, fine. Say, I'm the biggest fan ever. Wait, why is she here, Molly? She didn't get a good picture. So she followed us home. Oh, okay. That's not quite, quite anything. Oh, thanks for the photo. Okay, just a few more. A few more? Wait, no. Wait, okay, fine. Molly, you're not smiling. Is that better? Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to need you to autograph a few things. A few things? Wait, what? Thought you were leaving. Yeah, you can't just break into our house, Sarah Jenkins. Yeah, you can't just break into our house. Seems a little crazy. Here, just sign your name right here. That looks like a contract. Um, no, just sign it. It's not a contract or anything. Molly, don't sign that. It is a contract. It says that she can hang out with us every day at our house, even in the bathroom for the next 20 years. Sarah Jenkins. Uh, uh, I think we need to draw the line here. Uh, what are you going to do? Call the cops? And then I'm going to tell everybody on YouTube you're rude and mean to your fans. Okay. Let's just get something uh, straight here. You can be our friend, but you have to call before you show up at our house or text. And you can't come into the bathroom. That's private space. Yeah, Sarah Jenkins. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just love you guys so much. I didn't mean to, like, invade your private space. Oh, great. Now you made her cry. Me? You were, you were saying stuff. You said it first, and now you guys are fighting, and it's all my fault. I'm the worst fan ever. No, you're not the worst fan ever. Sarah, it's going to be okay. We still think you're a great fan. Just don't break into the bathroom again, okay? Yeah, you don't want to pass out from the smell of Molly's doo-doo. Daisy! Well, it's true, right, Sarah? Yeah, it is true. You definitely are lactose intolerant. Well, thank you so much for all the selfies and... And, 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 and everything. Bye! Um, okay, that contest was maybe a really crazy idea. You could say that again. Let's lock the door. I can't believe Mr. Smith gave me this much homework. I mean, seriously, I have to have a life outside of school. Molly, are you going to help me with this science project? He did pair us up together. Can't move. Can't move. Molly, what are you talking about? Get over here and help me with this science project. Daisy, I literally, I, I, I can't move. What do you mean 
you can't move. You're perfectly capable of moving. Get up! Daisy, ah, it has been such a long day of so much schoolwork. Why do the teachers give us so much homework anyway? Molly, you need to help with this science project or we'll both fail. You have your backpack on still. What are you doing? Well, I figured I had so much homework. Why even take the books off my back? Yeah, good point, Molly. We do have a lot of homework lately. But I'm a good student, so I will always get it done. Well, I'm a bad student, so I'm just going to hang out on the couch. Molly, you're so smart. If only you did your schoolwork. And this time you're going to, because if you don't, I'm going to get a bad grade. Okay, I'll be there in just a minute. So tired of school. So tired of school. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? Why are you crawling like a dog or like a baby or whatever? I can't do any more schoolwork. It's killing me. Molly died of doing too much schoolwork. Rest in peace, Molly. Molly, get up! Are you serious right now? We're being so dramatic! Um, I don't think you should do CBR, Daisy. Uh, I think she's still alive. Daisy, get, get away from me! You're you're ruining my moment! What, your moment of being a drama queen? Pretty much. I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, no more schoolwork! No more! Molly, get up and do your schoolwork. Are you Daisy's partner for the science project? No. I'm no one's project! I'm dead! Molly, quit being so dramatic! You are my science partner! Molly, get up off the floor, please, and do your homework. Fine! I just don't want to! I just don't want to do my homework! Molly, you need to stop this! Seriously, I'm going to have to ground you. Are you laughing at me right now? Seriously? Ah! Molly, are you crying for real? Yes, I, I am! Molly, come on, don't lie. All right, no, I wasn't crying for real, but seriously, this is way too much homework. I just need some chill time. You can have some chill time after you finish your science project. Daisy's so perfect. She always does everything right on time. And I'm like the bad student. Well, you said it, not me, Molly. Hey, Molly, did you finish your science project? Yes, finally. My brain is crying. <laughs> I'm sure you'll survive, Molly. Mom, I need a snack. Not right now, Molly. You need to have um, dinner in just, like, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, I'm just going to eat this waffle. Molly, I said no. Oh, can't you be like your sister and just wait for dinner? Oh, Daisy's so perfect, isn't she? I mean, she's like the perfect angel. Well, you said it, not me. Whatever. Oh, I can't stand anybody or anything right now. Daisy, everyone thinks you're so perfect. That's because I am, Molly. I'm the perfect angel. I'm going to my room. I can't even be around the perfect angel anymore. No one can live up to that. No one. Oh, maybe I can finally get some peace and quiet. Oh, finally, my bed. Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly, what's up? I'm just having like the worst day ever. I know, Mr. Smith gave us so much homework, right? Yeah, and, and, I don't know, she's just so perfect. She's like, she's like an angel, and I'm like a demon. Molly, don't say that. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. You're great. It doesn't matter if you're different. Yeah, I, I guess. Hey, Brookie, I, I gotta go. Before the perfect angel comes in here. Daisy, what, what are you doing? I'm doing my chores, Molly, why? Daisy, that's, Daisy, that's really loud. I need some peace and quiet. Sorry, Molly, but the chores must be done. Oh, oh look at you're doing chores. Aren't you the perfect girl? OMG! Oh, oopsie, I accidentally jumped into the hot tub. <laughs> oh, well, seems like a good place to be, right? I mean, I think this backpack's waterproof. Well, if my books get wet, I guess I can't do any more homework. Oh, what a shame. Molly, did you do your chores? Oh my gosh, I just got done with homework. Sorry, but now you have to do chores. O-M-G! Okay, what do I need to do? Vacuum down here, okay? Daisy was vacuuming. Daisy vacuumed upstairs. Now you can vacuum downstairs. Okay. 
Why are you crying about Molly? You're being super loud. Come watch this cat video. You'll think it's funny. I can't. I have to do my chores. You didn't get them done yet, Molly? Wow. No, not all of us are perfect angels like you. Ah, ah. Oh, that was the longest day of my life. Finally, I get to go to bed. Like, seriously, I'm looking forward to going to bed. That's how awful today was. I thought today was great. Of course you did, Daisy. Good night. La 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 oh. oh! Ouch! I tripped over my own feet. I'm the clumsiest angel in the entire world. Oh! Hopefully I didn't wake her up. What? What's going on? Oh no! Oh, I'm such a terrible angel. What, what, what's going on? Is this a dream? Um, well, not exactly. You see, um, I'm a guardian angel. Really, honey guacamole? That's cool. We angels have been watching you for a while, Daisy, and it seems that you're such an amazing person. We want to offer you the chance to become an angel like us. What? Are you serious right now? Okay, wake up, Daisy. Wake up. I'm telling you, this is not a dream. Would an angel trip over her own feet if this was a dream? Sometimes I think maybe because sometimes I dream that like elephants can fly and stuff, so you know, maybe... Well, I'm telling you, this isn't a dream. You can pinch yourself and find out. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, sorry, you probably pinched yourself a little too hard. <laughs> but see, I'm real. You really want me to be an angel? I sure do. <laughs> I think you'd be perfect at it. Hopefully you're not as clumsy as I am, though. The only thing is, is that when you become an angel, you have to start life all over again. So you lose all of the number of years you've been on the planet. Wait, what? That's right. You have to go back to being a baby. A baby angel, though. Um, this sounds crazy right now. Well, you could think it over, but you only have three seconds to make your decision. What? Two. Wait a minute. I can't decide. Three. Have you made your decision? Um, like, um. Okay, I'll do it. The world needs more angels. Okay, <laughs> this little spell won't hurt a bit. Wee! Wee! I'm a baby! Well, <laughs> it looks like my spell didn't go quite as it should. You're kind of a toddler, but oh well, things should be just fine. My work here is done. La 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 la. Oh my gosh, I tripped over my own feet again! Oh, am I ever going to not be so clumsy? Why am I dreaming about a crying baby? Seriously, if I didn't have a bad day, now I'm going to have a bad night too? Daisy, is that you crying? You sound like a baby. What is going on? Daisy? Daisy? What, what, what's going on? I'm a baby angel. What? You're a baby? I'm so dreaming right now. This is crazy talk. I, I got turned back into a baby because I decided to be an angel. Wh what? How did this happen? A grown up angel made me one because she said I was such a perfect human. Holy guacamole! Ugh, this is just like my life. My sister gets to be an amazing angel and, and I just get to be a boring old human? How is this even fair? This isn't fair! OMG! Well, I, 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 what should we do? Should we, like, hide you or something? Of course not. I'm an angel, so I'm perfect. Everybody will want to look upon my face and say, look at that perfect angel. OMG! That's it! That's it! Where's all my stuff? I'm moving! I'm out of here! You can't leave. I just follow you wherever you go because, Molly, I'm going to be your guardian angel. What? No, you're not. You can't even fly. I got to climb up here and then you'll see I can fly. One, two, three. Oh, oh, no. Oh, looks like the baby angel's not so perfect after all. 
I can't fly yet because I'm just a baby. I don't know how to use my wings. Well, maybe that adult angel should have stayed around to help you. I don't know how any of this works. I'm still a baby. Holy guacamole, though. Are my wings beautiful? Yeah, you're perfect, Daisy. You're always perfect. <sighs> I'm just going to go eat some breakfast. Life is not fun lately. La 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 la. Ooh, waffles. Yes. Mmm. So delicious. Good morning, Molly. Where's your sister? Uh, you're not gonna believe this, Mom. When you see her, you're probably gonna scream. What? Why? What happened? Uh, just wait and see, Mom. Mmm. <laughs> Could I have some more? Molly, you really should eat something healthy for breakfast. You buy the waffles, Mom. I'm just eating them. Well, you could have some fruit on top of the waffles, and the waffles aren't supposed to be for breakfast every day, just on weekends, as a special treat. Good morning. What? What's going on here? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah, I told you you'd freak out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How did, how did you become a, a baby and an, 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 an angel? Uh-oh. Somebody get a bucket of water. She's out. Stand back, baby angel. Sorry about this, Mom. Oh, oh my gosh, I just had the craziest dream. Wait, why am I on the kitchen floor? Ah, uh, because you didn't have a dream, Mom. Your daughter, who's so perfect and is the perfect little angel, well, she's an actual angel. And a grown-up angel came in the middle of the night and decided she could become, well, a baby angel. Oh, wait, I'm so confused. Slow down here. All you have to know is I'm a baby angel, and I'm here to bless you all with the best gifts possible. Happiness and love. <laughs> Sounds boring. Bye. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Obviously, you don't know what a perfect angel is like. Oh, uh, obviously not. Sounds really boring. La, 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 la. What's on TV? <laughs> Funny cats. <laughs> Funny cats getting baths. <laughs> Molly, don't you think it's time for you to go upstairs and get ready for school? Well, don't you think it's time for you to go to school? I don't go to your school. I go to angel school. Oh, fancy. Is that like a private school or something? Yeah, only for angels like me. Not for you. Fine, whatever. I don't need to go to angel school. Who wants to go to boring angel school, huh? Who wants to go to boring angel school anyway? Just go to regular school. I wish. I wish that I could be. Baby demon! Did somebody say they wish? What? What? How did you hear that? Because I'm an angel, I can hear all of the wishes and hopes and dreams of everybody. Wow, that sounds like a big job for a little, little tiny angel like you. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. What is it you wished for? Um, nothing. You have to tell me a wish, obviously. Why? I don't want to. Because I'll cry if you don't. <laughs> Seriously? I can't help it. I may be perfect, but I'm still a baby. <laughs> okay, fine. I wish that I was a demon. What? Are you serious? No! This is bad! Well, it's better than being an angel. Oh my gosh! I have to grant your wish! Why? You're an angel, not a genie. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how any of this works, but I think I have to. Okay, if you say so. Make me a demon! Your wish is my command! You're a demon. Holy guacamole! Look at me! <laughs> I feel so evil! Wait a minute, you don't have to be a baby too? That's not why I'm making you a baby. I didn't ask to be a baby! Too bad, I get to decide. <laughs> Newsflash, you're a baby demon, so, um, basically, you're mean and grumpy anyway. I'm gonna go cause lots of mischief. <laughs> baby demon, get back here! Hey, you can't do this! I, I, I didn't mean to make you a demon, it was a mistake! No, it wasn't. <laughs> you granted my wish. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> my Demon mobile. Ugh, I, can't, I can't sit in the driver's seat. I'm, I'm too little. I'm too little. Okay, there we go. 
Get back here, baby demon! This isn't awful! Oh, yes it is. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is rob the grocery store because this baby demon is hungry! Okay, look at it eat in here. I'm starving. Ooh, pizzas. Sounds good to me. Mmm, yummy. Uh, also, I don't know why I have these braces. But I don't like them. They make me angry. More pizza. And the pizza's getting stuck in my braces. Yeah, super angry. Hey, did you pay for that? Of course not. I'm a baby demon. Do I look like I pay for things? Haha, <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna have to put a spell on you to be good. Too late, I'm a demon. You can't. <laughs> now, what else can I cause mischief in? Ooh! Let's go break all of the arcade games. What? Why would you do that? Because I'm a demon and I do naughty things. <laughs> Broken! What? That's so sad. All of the kids won't be able to play now. That's it. You're under arrest, demon! <laughs> Not till I break this one, too. Too late, it was already out of order. Duh. Hey, don't be rude to me, baby angel. Get over here, you're under arrest. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> now I'm gonna go to the hospital and turn all of the babies like me. No, you can't do that. The babies, they should be angels. Nope, they get to decide. Oops, wrong room. Hey, I'm not a patient. Please, baby demon. Now it's time to give you some magic good. Magic good? What's that? It's how babies say um, that we're going to give you magic. No! I, I don't want magic! I want to be evil forever! Evil, evil, evil! Then I have no choice but to put you under arrest. What? No! That's right. Off to jail you go, baby demon. What? This room is terrible. I can't stay here. This is what prison is like. Here, you can have your hands uncuffed, but you're going to be stuck in here for probably a million years. What? A million years? No! <laughs> Baby demon doesn't like it. No, I did a bit. Sorry, but, you know, when we are angels and demons, there's no such thing as time. So, you know, a million years, that seems about right. No, let me out of here, baby angel, please! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Ha! Ah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in jail for a million years, no! Molly, what, Molly, are you okay? Come here, get out of bed, think you're having a nightmare! Huh, oh, what? What? Oh, okay, never mind, I go back to sleep. Molly, do you need a snack or something? It sounds like you're having a bad dream. Yeah, I had this dream that I was like, you're a baby angel and I was a baby demon. What's going on with you? You're a demon and you're so short. Why are you so short? Because I'm a toddler demon. Wait a minute. It wasn't a dream. Well, um, wait. Was I an angel in your dream? Because I'm not an angel. Really? Because everyone seems to think you are. Apparently, you think you're a demon and your dream came true. Um, I don't know what to do about this right now, but, um... Let's go see if I some trouble. Molly, this isn't like you. Seriously. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Huh, what? Oh, my gosh. That was a terrifying dream. Molly, come on. Get me late for school. Wait, are you an angel? Do you have wings? <laughs> no. Do I, do I have a dark halo over my head? No, Molly, you don't. What are you talking about? Oh, thank goodness. I had this dream that I... Never mind. It's crazy. See you downstairs, Molly. Okay. Oh, thank goodness it was just a dream. Oh, a dream within a dream. Actually, a nightmare within a nightmare because I thought I woke up, but I hadn't, and I was still a demon, and now I woke up, and I'm normal, and oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm never going to wish I was a demon ever again. I need some waffles. Oh, I'm starving. Oh boy, oh boy, our first day of daycare. Molly, I am so excited. Can you guys stop stepping on me, please? Hey, you just, you gotta be nice to other people if you want to make friends, Daisy. I am nice, but they were stepping on my toes and it really hurt. <laughs> Ooh, I brought my unicorn for show and tell. 
Whoa! That's a cool unicorn! Not as cool as sparkles or anything. Well, I don't really have a pet unicorn. I just have a stuffed unicorn. I have a pet Slotho! I'm the one with the pet unicorn. And she's amazing. Hey, let us in! Come on! Hey, everybody! Um, I'm Lily, and welcome to daycare. Ooh, she seems really nice, right? I like her. I will be looking after you for the next two days. Wait, what? Are, are we spending the night here? Is this like summer camp? Come on, let's head inside. I didn't know I didn't pack a sleeping bag or any pajamas or anything. Wait, this is only supposed to be for the day. But Molly, it's already getting dark. What? No, I don't want to spend the night at daycare. What? No! Molly, it'll be fine. It'll still be fun. Welcome inside. Feel free to explore. Wow, rainbow steps. That's pretty cool. Look at this. I bet this is where we're going to sleep. Oh, bunk beds. I want bunk beds in my house. That's so cool. I want bunk beds in real life. Do, 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 Okay, this place looks really awesome. Okay, except for the screaming kid. I don't know why he's crying or anything. Do you want a cookie? Okay, not a cookie. Do you want a bottle? Okay, you don't want a bottle. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. Oh, no. He's crying again. Okay, I'll handle it. Ooh, look at the fish. They got a puffer fish. Okay, that is really cool. What other fish do they have? They have, um, like, a red, white, and blue fish in here. That's cool. I'm trying to look at all the fish. OMG. I wish I had an aquarium like this at home. You guys seem, seem really hungry. Let's get some food. Great idea! I don't know where my sister went, do you? What would you like to eat? A uh, squid sandwich? No, I want a taco. Taco sounds delicious. Well, we're taking a vote, and whoever's got the most votes will win. Like you mean if the taco gets the most votes, that will win? Exactly. Whoa, I love this show! Rainbow cat, rainbow cat. Flying through the sky, it's Rainbow Cat. Molly, I don't think that's the theme song. It is too! Rainbow Cat, Rainbow Cat. Flying through the air, it's Rainbow Cat. Molly, just sit down. Okay, fine. Ooh, I love this episode! It just keeps flying and flying. It's like a it's a cat, but it's made out of a Pop-Tart. Did someone say Pop-Tart? Pop-Tart Cat, Pop-Tart Cat. Flying through the sky, it's Pop-Tart Cat. I already almost said popcorn cat. <laughs> Must be I really need to eat something. I can't even think straight. Okay. What are we having? Because I've been waiting for at least 30 minutes to be eating food and still not here. That must be the food now. Let me go and answer the door. Oh, we got takeout. Cool. I love takeout. Yay. I'm starving. It's going to be so delicious. Hurry up, Lily. Hurry. Here you go, kids. Enjoy. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Pizza! Oh, Molly, you love pizza. I know, but I really wanted a taco. Are you going to cry like a little baby right now? Well, I might. Mm, this pizza is good. I think it'll change your mind when you eat it. I don't want to eat it. Molly, just eat the pizza. Okay. Mm, yeah, you're right. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not a taco, but it's still delicious. Mmm. Is there cookies now? Molly, don't be rude. What? This daycare is great. I mean, they'll have cookies. Besides, we paid a lot of money to come here. We should get a cookie. We should get to sleep now, everybody. But we didn't even play yet. Ah! Okay, I changed my mind. That kid's still in there crying. No playing. Let's go right to bed. No, we want to play. Yeah, we want to play. No, you don't. There's a kid in there and he's screaming. All right. I guess you guys can play. We'll stay awake for a little while. Whoa, look at this room. Wait a minute. It's like, it's two separate rooms, but it's not really two separate rooms. What are you talking about, Molly? I mean, see, there's like a pink door for the girls and a blue door for the boys. But if you go in here, they're both the same room. Okay, Molly, whatever you say, I'm tired. Yeah, I don't want to listen to that kid scream, so I'm going to go to sleep too. Really, Molly? Yeah, or I'm going to lay here and stare at the ceiling. Whoa. Molly. What? A kid screaming was, like, making my ears want to bleed. Molly! Oh, um, I guess the lights went out on accident. 
And we'll go and turn the power back on. Oh, gosh. Something bad's gonna happen. Why do you say that, Molly? It always does when the lights go out. Something evil comes out. Molly, you have such a silly imagination. Come on, I'm sure it's nothing. I don't know, Daisy. I want to go home. I'm hiding back here. Something evil is going to come out here. Molly, nothing evil is going to come out. Oh, my gosh. There's a monster flying. What? Wait, what? Where, where am I going to run to? I only know. I, ah! Oh, I saw a monster's face. Ah! Should I go in here? I'm going to go up on the top bunk. He won't be able to get me up here, right? Ah! Wrong. Oh, my gosh. The light's going on and off. Molly, you were right. There's something evil in here. I knew it. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. It's materializing. Ah! Ah, it's right behind me. Why is it behind me? Okay, I'm jumping over. Ow! I fell down the stairs. Ow! Holy guacamole. Maybe you won't think to go in the kitchen. Ah, he's right behind me. Why is he only chasing me? Molly, he's chasing everybody. Run! Okay, I can't get in the kitchen. Maybe I can hide behind the stairs. Ah! Nope, he thought to go there, too. Ah! Now we know where this kid's crying, Molly. He'll hide inside this toy box. Good idea. Oh, my God. The face is still there. This dear cow is so creepy. I know. I'm going to hide on top of here. The spaceship. Maybe I'll take it to the moon. Ah! He knows about it. Wait, there's a vet here. But it looks close, Molly. I'm still hiding up here. I don't care. I don't care. He can't come up here. He can't climb. That's what I'm telling myself. Someone's down there hiding in the ball pit. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? That was super cool. Molly? Molly? Perfect. I have turned the generator back on. What? No, you don't understand. There was a monster in here, Lily. What? No, there wasn't. There was a monster attacking us! She doesn't know what to say right now. What? A monster? <laughs> Stop being silly. I'm not being silly. Why don't you believe me? She's right. Oh, no. I've got the hiccups. <gasps> Oh, Molly gets these when she gets nervous. <gasps> oh, man! Now I'm going to have to go to the hospital. <gasps> you don't have to go to the hospital for hiccups, Molly. <gasps> yes, I do. Molly, just stay right here a minute. Why? Boo! Ah! Oh, okay, I think my hiccups are gone. Good, Molly. Hey, someone's in my bed. Get out of my bed! Just sleep in a different one, Molly. Okay, fine. Oh, if I can get any sleep. I mean, there was a scary monster here. I know, right, Molly? I feel like this isn't very good. Now, come, how come these pillows are so squishy? My head is just disappearing. Yeah. Hey, ow! You're standing on me! Sorry, but this is my bed. Too late. It's my bed now. Did you just see that flash? What are you talking about, Molly? I mean, there's flashing lights in here. Someone's just pulling a prank on us, turning the light on and off. Um, no, I don't think so. I think that scary monster is back. Oh my gosh, did anybody see it? I don't know, but can I hug your, your unicorn? I feel afraid. Sure, Molly, go ahead. I couldn't properly see what it was. Um, you didn't have to because we know there's a monster that lives here. It was the monster! See? Told ya. It was totally the monster. Yeah, I think it probably was. I saw it too! Okay, so the question is, how are we gonna get out of here? This daycare is obviously haunted. And it has a bunch of monsters too. Why am I laying down? Uh, I didn't say I wanted to lay down. I don't know, Molly. Maybe you were afraid you are gonna get the hiccups again. Good morning, children! I think she might be the monster. Molly, that's not nice. Come downstairs to the cafeteria for breakfast. Well, she doesn't believe us, and she's the only one that's escaped. And, I mean, she she never, she didn't escape, but, I mean, she's the only one that ever, she, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Jeepers, Molly, calm down. Just go slow and tell me what he was trying to say. Okay, she's the only one that is not around when the monster is. So when the monster's around, she's not here. When she's here, the monster's not around. Oh, yeah, that was confusing. I see why that was hard to say. Yeah, exactly. But what I'm trying to say is she's the monster. That's why when the monster's here, she's not here. Because she is the monster. Today, we're having pancakes. You can show Molly she's making pancakes your favorite. Okay, yeah, we can eat the pancakes, but you're still the monster. Woohoo! I love 
pancakes. I'm only eating your pancakes because I love pancakes and I'm hungry. But I still think you're the monster. Molly, that's kind of rude. I don't care. She's a monster. She's kind of rude. Ooh, look at these. Molly, what if we shouldn't eat them? What do you mean? Tastes pretty delicious to me. Because Molly, what if they're poison? What? <laughs> now you tell me after I ate half the pancakes? Well, it's not my fault you just scoffed them all down. I tried to tell you beforehand, but you eat so fast I couldn't get it out. Oh my gosh. I've got, I got a question for you. Don't ask her, Molly. She might not tell you, and, and I don't want to, um, her to know we know. Why not? I'm going to call her out on it and say, you're the monster, aren't you? Because, Molly, if we tell her and she is the monster, then maybe she'll come after us first. Do you know what time it is? Time for you to become a monster? Molly! Um, I have no idea. It's playtime, right? Oh, boy, oh, boy, I love playtime. Yep, have fun, everyone. Ah! I know, you saw a monster, didn't you? I knew it. Ah! That scared me! Do it again, Daisy. I want to see that again. I want to see the look on your face. I'm going in the ball pit. Hey. Hey, I was going down the slide. Ow! You ran over my toe. Well, Molly, you're not really supposed to go up the slide. She's still hiding in there. This is where I would hide, too, if I was hiding from a scary monster. You guys can't see me, can you? I'm hiding in the ball pit. Woo! This is so much fun. Hi, Molly. H are you having fun? Um, yes, Lily, monster. I mean, Lily. Hey, guys. I'm going to go for a short while. I'll be back in a few minutes. What? You can't leave us. We're kids. Why are you leaving us? You're in charge of us. Oh, wait a minute. The reason why she's leaving is because she's the monster. Okay, I'm going to leave one of you in charge, okay? And make sure everybody behaves. Uh-huh, sure. But are you going to behave, Miss Monster? I'm hiding up here on top of the window. Hey, wait, I want to come up there, too. Oh, I can't seem to jump up there. Ugh. Ugh. I got to try again. Ugh. There's a hammer up here. I wonder what that's about. I don't know, Molly. I want to come up there with you, too. I think you might be right. I think Lily might be the monster. What? What? What, what, what's happening? What's happening is Lily left and now dun, 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 the monster is back. Lily is the monster! Seriously, that's the monster from earlier. Ah! Molly, um, I think we should try to get out of here. Let's call our mom. I know. Where's our cell phones, though? I don't know. She took them. What? Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. Daisy! The monster! The monster babysitter, she's coming! Ah! Where is everybody? My family and I were supposed to be coming to Disney World today. Um, that's because you went to the wrong place. We're going to Disneyland, not Disney World. Yeah, Molly, hurry up already. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this summer vacation. I was, too, until I got lost at the wrong place. <laughs> well, Molly, you should have gotten in the car with us instead of deciding you wanted to walk all the way here. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? She was thinking she needed some exercise after playing all those Roblox games. <laughs> Come on, guys, I got the tickets. Let's go. Woo! Molly, Daisy, you should stick together, please. Okay, wait, this is confusing. This is Walt Disney World, but over here... It says Disneyland. I think that this place may be confused. Okay, it won't let me through. It won't let me through. Oh, uh, that's because you need your ticket. Oh, okay. Hmm. Want to buy the VIP? No. I already bought my ticket. What? It won't let me in. Molly, you have to go and pick up your ticket. Jeepers. Okay, fine. I'll go pick up my ticket. Molly sure is having a lot of trouble today, isn't she? Whoa, look at this place. Disney gift shop. 
OMG, this is going to be the best summer vacation ever. Look at all the Disney princesses. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love them all. Seriously, which one will I be? No, those are boy clothes. I don't want to be them. OMG, you can be Cinderella. I don't know if I want to be that, though, because um, if I'm wearing a dress, I won't be able to run around really fast. I want to be able to run around. Wow, this place is amazing. Disney Skyway. Nemo. Oh, my gosh. I want to go on Nemo. I want to go on Nemo. Come on. We're, oh, wait. I got I to gotta look at the map. Molly, hold on. They're having problems with our ticket. What? Why? We paid, didn't we? Yeah, I paid, but I bought the wrong type of ticket. Really? How can you buy the wrong ticket for Disney, Dad? Sorry. Wow, this map looks like we have a lot of cool things to see today. I know we're not going to be able to see them all. We're going to have to come back tomorrow after we stay at our hotel. But while they're handling all of their ticket problems, I think I'm going to go in here. It's fine, Molly. Just go on rides without me. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. Wait, which way is it? Step right up to go on our amazing ride. Ah, uh, something tells me I'm going to throw up. Whoa, this is really lame so far. Okay, here we go. Now we're going. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 is it going to flip over backwards? If it does, I really will throw up. It's like the pirate ship at a carnival. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. It is going to flip over. Whoa. Sparkles, hang on. My unicorn doesn't like going upside down on rides. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten that burrito before I came. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, man. This is a crazy ride. Oh, is it over? Is it over? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, and kind of stomach upsetting too. Whoa, I'm gonna jump off. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, don't get hit by the ship. That would be bad. Molly, you rode this ride without me? Yeah, don't try that one. It's scary. Let's go on the roller coaster. I'd never know, Marty, since you went without me. Have fun, girls. Just remember to stick together. Okay, I've got on my fast walking boots here. Do 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 do. Bum bum ba dum ba. Wait a minute, where did I? Wait, what? You went in the wrong way, duh. Hey, you kept going this way. How am I supposed to know? Bum, 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 bum. Guys, if you think it's awesome that we're taking our summer vacation at Disney, slam that like button! Here we go, Molly. I'll spawn a call. Molly, get out of the way. <laughs> the car keeps disappearing. We get on it, get on it! Oh, what? Come on, Molly! Sheesh. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Finding Nemo roller coaster. Oh my gosh. What was the shark's name? Bruce, I think. Oh, this is awesome. Wow, you can see the whole park up here. Whoa, there's Crush. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> yes, this is so much fun. Daisy, are you okay? You haven't said anything. I am just trying not to throw up. <laughs> That's how I was on my first ride, too. But it's okay. You get used to it after a minute. Whoa! Whoa! What ride do you think Mom and Dad are riding? Probably like something like the merry-go-round. Like they're still little kids. <laughs> yeah, lame. Whee! Wow, that roller coaster is pretty crazy. I loved it, Molly. I did. Just take me a minute to get used to my stomach going flip flap, flip flap, flip flap, flip flap. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay. Molly, you're not supposed to get off till the ride stops. It was sort of stopped, almost stopped. Okay, gotta put on my magic boots and walk super fast. What's this one? 
Splash Mountain? Whoa. Thanks for riding. More updates coming soon. Whoa. I almost went into the river. Daisy, let's ride this one. Daisy. Where's Daisy? I'm over here, Maddie. You're going up the exit again. Oh, I fell in the water. Ow! Okay, I'm fine. Touch to spawn, but then it leaves when I do. Okay, I'm on. Sit down, Daisy. <laughs> Sit down or you'll be sorry. Woo! So far, this is crazy. Yeah, there, you can ride with like four people. But we, there's only two of us. We should get mom and dad to ride on this. They'd love it. Yeah, they get super soaked at the end. They'd love that, Daisy. What? Though at Disney, I think that they would love it. It's the most magical place on the earth. Okay, this is leading us up this giant, like, canal. What do you think is going to happen at the other end? We're going to fall, Molly, duh. Here we go! <laughs> Look at the ducks. What does it say? How do you do? Mighty fine greeting! Nice to be meeting. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, whoa! This one's a little like the lazy wivel. Hey, treasure. Give me that treasure. Give me it. Give me it. Marty, you can't get off the line. Whoa, it looks like there's an aquarium down there. That's cool. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Marty, we should have wore a Star Squad shot, a shirt today. Yeah, we should have, but I forgot and, to wash mine and I had to wear my cupcake shirt instead. <laughs> But if the Star Squad fans want to get a t-shirt or a backpack or something, what could they get one from? They could go to our new website, starsquad.shop, where we have backpacks, piggy shirts, shirts with our faces on them. Yeah, it doesn't get any cooler than that, right, Molly? Molly, where are you going? Apparently, I'm going on the ride again. No! No, wait! I gotta get off! <laughs> so you guys can click the link in the description box below this video if you want to check it out. Hey guys, uh, someone said you were going on a ride? Yeah, come on, let's go as a family! Okay, come on, let's do this! Um, we can go on Splash Mountain again. Yeah, let's go. I don't know, it seems kind of crazy. Yeah, come on, we can do it. Um, I'm not sure, but maybe... Dad, come on! You, you're just gonna get, like, a little bit splashed on, that's all. Dad, seriously, you don't want to go? I'll go! I'm one of your biggest fans! Oh, cool! Hey, Cookie Fran, Brianna! Okay. Well, you could come with us if we can all get on the same raft, but it's looking like we can't. Mom, what are we doing? Apparently, we're riding without a raft! Get your dad! I need his help to get off of this thing! Nah, we'll be okay. Oh, my gosh, I think it's fun. <laughs> Mom, come on, it's gonna be so fun. What happens when we go down the other end off of the waterfall? Um, we'll probably fall. <laughs> we forgot a raft. And yeah, no kidding, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh my gosh. You guys totally talked me into this. It's all your fault. Mom, it's going to be fine. See, you're still alive. You're okay. Let's do this. Team Star 